and take it to the next level, which will allow experiments to get broader, more illuminated, actually, because the light will increase in intensity and brightness, which will mean that we can continue to produce cutting edge science and research, which ultimately will help improve the lives of everyday people. Do reflect, we actually rolled out the COVID vaccine really quickly. We're right on top of it. You know, we beat the world in terms of, of that. Is, is this sort of kit directly responsible for that? And will it help with more COVID? It was, certainly, it was certainly part of the story. There are around 50 diamond light sources right. around the world. Though the UK, it must be says, has been at the cutting edge of, of using them. Yeah. This first opened in 2007, this facility. It took six years to build, by the way. Uh, over the period of time, uh, we've had 220 companies from around the world have used it. Some 14,000 scientists have worked from this facility. The government says we should give them their, their due. And this is a cross-party thing. This isn't an advert for the Tory party. Yeah. This is a cross-party thing. It's one of those excellent pe areas of public life where people actually work together. The government and the Wellcome Trust between them have spent about £1.4 billion over the years on this. This next upgrade will last until 2030. And independent uh, studies suggest that from that 1.4 billion, we've had about 2.6 billion of right. economic returns. And the patents linked to this facility are worth more than 10 billion pounds. So when we talk about productivity, when we talk about where does economic growth come from, when, when we talk about the wealth of nations, it's facilities like this that really make the difference, yeah. a chink of light. Yeah, and, and of course, when the, government, the economic glue. governments are accused of, of not investing. So